This is going to go badly. Oh, our wheels have gone. Oh, no. Welcome to Africa in BeamNG. This is the African Trails map, which is set in an African desert. It's got caves, tricky terrain, and villages to explore. We're going to be driving around today in the Procyon Centauri, my favorite SUV mod for BeamNG. This is the Perseverance Edition, which has got chunky tires and lots of accessories, which are perfect for going off-road. So we're starting in the East Village. This is the largest settlement in the map. And this is an eight kilometer square map, so it's pretty, pretty big. Now, what's cool is that there's lots of custom assets here. You can see lots of detail on all the buildings. It really does feel like an African environment. I've got to say, I think this is the only African map available for BeamNG. I'm not sure. Maybe let me know in the comments. But it's certainly not a place you see very often in a BeamNG mod. And yeah, and I think they've captured the vibe of a remote African village in this map. Now, there is actually a fuel station in this town. Look at this, it's just a barrel, but it does work as a fuel station. That is perfect. Okay, let's get this baby out into the open plains. Okay, here we go, bouncing up and down. As we head over this hill, we should see all eight square kilometers of the map. It is huge. There we go, look at all that. So much map to explore. We're gonna try and see all the different landmarks and some amazing caves. So the Procyon Centauri is an amazing mod and it's brilliant for this kind of terrain. There's lots and lots of dirt trails that are very rough and uneven. Very little tarmac roads. As you know, I think in Africa, cars are very rare. People use motorbikes and bicycles. But, whoa, oh my goodness, this is brilliant for exploring. There we go, amazing. And as you're driving around, you'll see little farms and there's some kind of abandoned village over here. Let's check it out. Oh yeah, look at this, there's like a Roma there that's really all rusty, oh my goodness. And some kind of abandoned, whoa, house over here, brilliant. You just get a sense of the open space here. It's, it's really, really impressive. And I can see some trees over there. So even though this is basically a desert, there are some bits of vegetation and I think this is an acacia tree, which which gives us a lot of shade in the heat. Here we go, under the shade. Perfect. So as you can see, there's some kind of protected area here. That's because there's a vineyard inside, and I'm guessing someone is using this as farmland. But the fence isn't gonna stop us driving through. Oh yeah, this is really cool. Whoa, no, 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 stop. Oh, oh. Looks like they're growing, I guess, wine here. I think this is based in South Africa, and South Africa has a very, very uh, big wine industry. There we go, oh yeah. And out we go into the plains once more. Driving around in the evening and night is really cool because of how good the sky looks, but also in this vehicle, you can really light up a lot thanks to its massive lights at the front. Although you can get pretty lost. I mean, I've got no idea where I am. There's nothing for miles apart from that tree. Let's have a look for the airfield. Okay, well, it's just over here. As you can see, it's a pretty long runway out in the middle of nowhere. And the only building there is, well, it's not really a building, it's just this, this kind of tarpaulin where we can take cover in the shade. And here we go, the cessplane mod is a perfect bush plane for this environment. So, Let's increase the throttle. There we go. It's pretty quick as well. You can take off in a very, very short space, as you can see. We really don't need this massive long runway. I mean, you could probably land a 747 there if it wasn't so bumpy. Now, flying along at this altitude, you really get a sense of the scale of the map. It really is brilliant. And it's coastal as well. So there's some kind of seaside over there, a couple of seaside uh, settlements. Over here, you can see a really, really cool tunnel, which will be going to a different part of the map in a future update. We'll be checking that out in a little bit and a settlement here next to a nice cave system we'll also be checking out. As you can see there's a train track coming out of a tunnel and it goes all the way down this side of the map. It kind of winds in and out. If you have a train mod you can have a lot of fun trying to keep it on the tracks as you go around these corners. Okay let's try and land here where the train track goes through the town. This isn't going to go very well. Uh, extend flaps a bit more. There we go. Bring the engine down. Okay whoa this is going to go badly. Oh there go our oh. Our wheels have gone. Oh, no! Well, that was an okay landing, to be honest. And here we are in the town. And as you can see, the train tracks basically divide the town into two halves. And this is meant to be a slum. And as you can see, it's really, really impoverished, run down. Oh my goodness, it's pretty tight as well. There we go. Oh, don't hit that. Whoa, come on. Yeah, we can get over there. Okay, this bit does actually have a proper crossing. Oh, well, sort of, over the railway track. But yeah, I think it's nice whoa, that they've included this in the map. It does add a bit of gritty detail to the map. Okay, so this is one of the tunnels in the map 
map and it's based on a real tunnel in South Africa. Now look at this, it is huge in here. I'm not entirely sure where this tunnel is going to go. It doesn't really go to anywhere at the moment, but there is one, whoa, on the other side of the map and it's just so fun to drive around at high speed. It is also pretty spooky, especially if you turn your lights off. I mean, look at this, like we're in a horror game. Whoa, scary noises. There's another tunnel by this small settlement over here. And as you can see, this one looks even spookier. Oh yeah, I'm liking it though. This is really cool. Choose the left-hand side and into the tunnel. Whoa. And you really do get the impression this was just carved out of the rock. I like it. Okay, there's a tunnel entrance over here. And if we head down this ooh, pretty precarious path, we can find a big five kilometer long cave system. Okay, let's put on the front and rear diff. There we go. Whoa, I mean, that is crazy. When did they build this? Who was it built for? Whoa, no tire burst. Oh, I guess a sharp metal that's destroyed our rear tire. Wow. Once you get down, you can find this as the entrance to the cave. Now, it does look a bit weird. It will be improved in the future. We need to put our lights on. I think it's Alt, Shift and N, and then Alt and N for fog lights. There you go. All of our lights are now on, but it is five kilometers long and it is pretty challenging. So let's check it out. Okay, here we go. It's pretty tricky in, whoa, even in this, but we're not doing badly. Oh, the what is what is just opened up there? That's some kind of tool chest. Oh, wow. That's bad. Now, we would have a winch in real life, but we don't in this. So let's just pull it along. There we go. Yes. I mean, it's really not bad. You'd struggle really in anything other than a crawling vehicle to get through there. Look at that. This is going to be tight. Oh, come on. Come on, come on, come on. You can do it. Yes. Perseverance by name. Perseverance by nature. Perfect. And as you drive through, you come across some really impressive open areas like this. Uh, to be honest, I don't know why the ground looks like that. It might be because it's, yeah, there you go. At nighttime, it looks better. This map is actually set, I think, normally in afternoon or sunset. And look at it out there. It's just a beautiful sunset map. And there's lights in this map, which just look incredible. They look great. A little bit of fog and mist really adds to the lighting effect. As you can see, the town too lights up at night. And it's just a great detail in any map. This is one of the port areas, and this map has, I guess, quite a substantial fishing industry. It really does look nice. You know, my car sat here in all these warehouses. It's really gritty, and I love the way they've used a mix of custom assets and the BeamNG assets to create a living, breathing map. And this is a really cool Easter egg. There's a broken down boat here. You can hear it trying to start up. Listen to that, that's amazing. Now, a lot of the infrastructure on this map is pretty derelict. I mean, look at this bridge. Whoa, can we even cross it? I think you can. Here we go, let's go to the right, go to the right, go to the right, come on. Get over the bridge. Ooh, low tire pressure. Whoa, 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 we're gonna have very low tire pressure now. Oh dear, that is pretty precarious. Come on, come on. I think it is actually possible to cross the bridge without falling off, here we go. Oh. Nearly, go, go, go. One last bit, go, go, go. Power, power, yes, made it across. And there are several different time trials for you to check out and explore the map. But we're gonna do this one, the unclimbable. Get on top of the rock. Well, there it is, that must be the rock. How on earth are we gonna get up there? Hmm, I mean, that picture's not very good, but I mean, it's pretty funny, like a kid's drawing. I'm sorry whoever drew that, it doesn't look great. But anyway, let's start. Get on top of the rock, hmm. Okay, so that's our finishing point there. I have got no idea where to go. Uh, where's the smoothest bit? Maybe here. Here we go. So lock diffs. There we go. And off we go. Oh, we actually got further than I thought we would. Uh, oh, I know. Why don't we wall ride it? Here we go. Wall ride the rock. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I mean, we got like a third of the way up then. That wasn't bad. I don't think this is going to work. Going through the water now. What about this here? Here we go. Go, 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 go. Power. Power. Oh no, here we go. I think I worked out how to do it. Let's do it with the Cessna all taking off. Yeah, this will be easy. Okay, so that's where we're going there. Bring the throttle down. All we have to do is just touch that blue marker. Rudder, rudder, rudder. Oh no, do we make it? Do we make it? No, okay, here we go. Cut the throttle and yes, we did it. Wow, success. That is amazing. And into the water we go. Lost a wing, but we did complete the challenge. There we go, the African trails map for BeamNG. I'd love to see more regional maps for BeamNG in different continents around the world. I think they are amazing. I've left links to all the different mods in the description. Go and check them out. And if you'd like to see another awesome map mod, click the video on screen right now. I think you'll enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching. That's all from me. And I'll see you soon for some more simulator adventures.